apparently Tagore and Kadambari Devi share a lot of letters. He would write to her every day, sometimes many times a day, and short little notes. And she always felt that she couldn't match up to his style and his writing. And these letters were also quite uh, uh, intimate. All his new poems, his new songs, he would always share with her first. And he always called her his muse. Unusual and charming, I think, that they wrote to each other constantly even though they were in the same household. A lot of those sequences actually I have enacted in the film Kadamburi as well. So I have actually been through those motions, which I was remembering while reading, I, I would remember that. While reading it, I was very emotional. I think that people who do listen to it will be able to relate to that as well and they will also feel for her. Download the Storytel app today and listen to me narrating Kadamburi Devi's Suicide Note by Ranjan Pandapathya.